Hey guys, welcome to Drum Lessons with Dave Bloom. Today we're going to take a pretty basic beat that starts with a 2 and 4 on the snare drum, add some syncopation on the kick drum, and works across the kit using some open handed playing. It's fun, and it's not going to get you fired from the gig. We'll pair it up with a nice little fill that starts off pretty basic, add some more syncopation, and ends with a traditional rock ending that'll end on the and after the 4, so it bleeds over with the crash into the beat, not covering the whole thing up. And you'll get to have fun, so let's get to it. First, we're going to start with the sticking pattern. We're going to keep with rights and lefts and then add the bass drum in after the fact. We want to focus on playing it nice and slow and getting really clean. After that, we add in the bass drum, get the feel, and then we take it to the whole drum set. So let's take a look at that together. Now let's add in that bass drum pattern and work the whole thing through. Remember, take it slow, work up to the pace, and eventually take it to about 120 beats a minute for the whole groove. We'll walk step by step so you can get a really good feel for it. We're going to start with the first part of the groove. It's basic linear. Your right hand's going to go in the hi-hat on one. We'll play the and with the bass drum, and then we'll follow it up with the snare drum on two with your left hand. Now we're going to start with that basic linear pattern and add coming back to the hi-hat. Again, because it's linear, no two drums will be played at once. So you'll start with the one on the hi-hat, the and on the bass drum, we'll come back to the snare on two, and then and a uh, with right and left on the hi-hat. All right, now we're going to go through that again, but you're going to notice something a little different. As we follow into three, we're going to play the left hand consecutively twice. So you're going to play it on the uh of the beat two, and then as you come into beat three, you'll play it again on the hi-hat, both times with your left hand. The reason we do this, it leaves it for open-handed playing, so the right hand will gradually travel across the drum set to the floor tom in the next section. Now we're going to start working on the second half of the groove. This is going to be open handed. We're going to play our left hand on the hi-hat, two hits on the bass drum, and then our right hand is going to hit the floor tom. You're going to be completely open handed on this one and you're going to find your left hand coming back to the snare on the next section and bring our right hand to cross over. This last piece, we're going to finish off the groove. Our left hand is going to play the snare on four, and on the anda, we're going to play right and then left on the hi-hat. The very last hit with your left hand is going to open up the hi-hat, and it's going to allow that to ring until we come back again and play it from beat one, the next measure over. Alright, now we've got that, let's play the whole second half together. We're going to play it through, we'll get it comfortable again, and then we're going to put this whole thing together. Alright, sounded good. Here we go, the entire thing together. Remember, play this nice and slow, relaxed. We're going to play it at 80 beats a minute, then 100 beats a minute, and then we're going to do 120 beats a minute. That's our goal 
for the tempo of this, but it does not have to be at that. You can really play this faster or slower. It's all about what the song calls for. But start off slow, work your way into it, and it's going to sound great. This is a really fun groove to play. It can really add to any situation, so let's complement it with a nice tasty fill. It starts off pretty basic with just some 16th notes, then we're going to add in some syncopation and end with a traditional rock ending. What I really like about this ending, that it does not come crashing on one the next measure. It ends on the and of four, which allows that cymbal to crash before we start over so you hear the full groove with a cymbal bleeding through it instead of overtaking the entire thing. This song starts nice and simple. Two hits on the bass drum, two hits on the snare drum. Kick, kick, right, left on the snare. The middle of this one falls away from the beat. You're going to play your right hand on the floor tom, your left hand on the closed hi-hat, right hand again on the rack tom, and then your foot is going to play the bass drum. We're going to come back with a flam on beat four on the snare drum. Make sure that you're focusing keeping this off beat through those first four notes, and then coming back to the beat on beat four with that flam. Now we're just going to end this with a nice big rock sound. We're going to play that flam to the bass drum. We're going to play 4E and. When we play that and with the second bass drum hit, we're going to come down and crash on the cymbal. That's going to be there instead of the next time we start the beat over to again ring through the beat instead of washing out everything with a loud crash sound. Remember, when playing this all together, we move through the regular flow at the beginning, a regular flow at the end, and in the middle we'll have some syncopation. Allow your hands to just really travel through the drum set. This one's going to feel really good. Now let's put it all together and hear how it sounds. We're going to play three measures of the groove, and then we're going to end that with one measure of the fill. So that's three times of the groove, one of the fill, and then we'll bring it all back around and we'll keep going. We're going to start at 80 beats a minute, nice and slow to kind of keep it relaxed. We'll jump up to 100 beats a minute, and then finally we'll finish at our goal tempo, 120 beats a minute. Again, just play it, feel it through, let it be natural, flow around the kit, and have fun with it.
That's it for now. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can find out when new fills and new grooves are coming out. I'll catch you guys soon. Take care.